Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up port forwarding on your router. Port forwarding is used when you want a remote computer to connect to a specific computer over the internet. To do that, you need to enable certain ports, um, such as FTP. For FTP, you would use 20 and 21. For remote desktop, you would use port 3389, and so forth. If I wanted to connect to another computer uh, over the internet from basically from work to home, what I'd want to do is on my router at home, I'd want to set up port forwarding uh, and set up 3389 as a port. Uh, what I would do is I would put the IP address into remote desktop like so. I'm going to show you real quick. And say that it was 72.23.1.1. Well, if this was my IP address of my home computer, and I hit connect, if I was behind a router, my router will see the request coming from the remote computer, and if I'm sending a remote desktop request, it will receive the packet 3389, and it will go ahead and know to forward 3389 to a certain computer on my router. So my router is at the top, and I have three or four computers connected to my router. My router has the address of 72.23.1.1 in this example. The 3389 port request comes into the router. The router says, okay, well you're sending me a 3389 port request. I'm going to go ahead and forward that over to 192.168.1.2 or 192.168.1.23, whatever IP address that your router is assigning your computers within your home. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to connect to the router and set that up. Okay, so what we need to do first is connect to our router. I'm going to go ahead and type cmd ipconfig and this address, the default gateway 192.168.30.5, that's what it is for me, but whatever you have here this number is what you're going to have to enter into your web browser in order to view the firmware on your router. So let's do that now. I'm going to type 192.168.30.5. Enter in my password. And here, I have a Linksys router. Um, other routers should be fairly similar. I'm going to go to the applications and gaming. I'm going to go to port range forward, where I'm at now. As you see here, I have several filled in. RDP is remote desktop protocol. I have port 3389, start and it's the same port. I'm using both TCP and UDP, so that's something you should do. And I'm putting it to my address because if you remember, my IP address is 102 within my router. So whenever my router gets a, requ a packet that, that contains 3389, it says, okay, well, I received 3389, let me go ahead and forward it to 102. That's why I have this enabled. I also have some FTP information. This passive is also for FTP, HFS, this is for an HTTP, HTTP server for a website. Um, so you, as you see here, I have this one of two. If I had, if I wanted to send to another computer uh, within my router, I would go to that other computer that's on my lo local network, uh, do the same thing, do an IP config, find out what the version 4 IP is, and then just fill it in. So if it was 101, I would type 101 here and just make sure it's enabled. When you're done, hit save settings. And on your other computer, on your remote computer, you might want to go ahead and open up a uh, remote desktop connection and enter your computer name in here and hit connect. And uh, if you have remote desktop enabled, which I'm going to show you on another video, uh, you can go ahead and actually um, connect to your computer remotely. All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you. Bye bye.